Hey, welcome to Shiv. My name is Yossi Airtree, and this is... Mindy Bass. Hi. We're here um, to explain about the concept of going to sleep, um, how to be successful on that. I'm going to give you a few tips. I'm not going to say how many tips, because some tips are going to be relevant to some of us, while some tips are not. Well, Mandy, for example, likes to sleep in a cold room, and I like to sleep in a hot room. But with the common denominator in successfully preparing to go to sleep, which is very, very vital for your Avedis Hashem the next day, is that you need to take care to the Gaito Matsasatame. If you prepare to go to sleep properly, you will have a good night's sleep, thus enabling a good wake up, thus enabling a good day. As we say in the Jewish calendars, the day start the night before. The night starts the day. The night, night starts the day after, for example. That's another way of saying it. Basically, um, yes. So we're gonna say now a few things that will help people go to sleep properly and go to sleep properly and go to sleep properly, and hopefully this will help you in your work of service of Hashem. All introductions aside, let's get to them. Tip number one, if you're not fleshic because you ate supper that's fleshic, you might want to drink a cup of milk. A cup of milk is known for killing poisons in the body. And you might have some poisons in the body which are getting you annoyed and not letting you go to sleep. Thus, a cup of milk is always good. Um, a cup of water is also very good before you go to sleep. What else? You should be wearing pajamas like a mensch, meaning pajama pants and a pajama shirt. See, should you just before Kriyashma or after Kriyashma? This of course is after Kriyashma. Kriyashma should be done with a hat and jacket and shawl preferably. So what, so what do we get to say the Yichi? Yichi is before Kriyashma, after Kriyashma and during Kriyashma. Ah, okay. Um, yes, of course. Now, Getting to the physical part, we're going to speak about the spiritual parts in a minute, but it's very important. We, we, we rely on the Chesed HaShabacharim to take care and do the spiritual parts of the of, of preparing for go to sleep. We're going to speak about this physical and then we're going to get to the spiritual. We won't leave anybody hanging. Okay, back to what we're saying. Um, it's important to wear pajamas and sometimes people have a pajama that's missing a button on the top. They make sure you make sure you have that button on the top because if you don't got that button on the top, you might get cold during the night. I mean, if you don't care, so then you don't care. Some people, I don't know, they sleep in very. But I would recommend a, a pajama shirt and pajama pants. Okay, fine. Moving on. Um, the linen should be changed. Oh, well, I guess if you're used to it being changed. I mean, some people could, you know, in yeshivas, it's not so normal. I'll tell you a secret. Some yeah? people don't use linen at all. Right. Some people don't use linen at all, but we're not. <laughs> not going. We're, we're, trying, we're going to try to make some kind of a normal uh, setting. And uh, you should change your linen once in a while, uh, depending on how uh, particular you are about it. But uh, you should definitely have that in mind. Again, just the fact that you're going to take a few minutes to prepare yourself before you go to sleep will already help you go to sleep. You're a successful night. Just make sure that if you need to turn on the heater, you turn on the heater or seal up a window, seal up a window. If it's the wind, if it's the summer, you make sure you turn on the air conditioner to the right thing, not to freeze you out, not to this. Everything should be sorted out in a proper way. And of course, don't forget to shut off the light. Yes, shut off the light before you go to sleep usually helps people go to sleep. Some people sleep with the light on again. And so this is a controversy, a subject. And keep your smelly socks away from your bed. Very good, yes. Smelly laundry has to be kept better if it's out of the room, period or if it's as far as possible. If you cannot put it as far as possible, make sure it's like in a plastic bag, completely tied, closed, um, and it only open it when you're outside or in the laundromat, that way everyone gets the heat wave. No, I'm just joking. Basically, laundry should not be like right next to your head. Uh, according to Kabbalah and uh, the mystical teachings of the Hasidus, you shouldn't have shoes next to your head as well, if I'm not mistaken. Another thing is your head should be towards the door, meaning your head should be closer to the door. I don't know if people are aware about this thing, but your head should be closer to the door because dead people are taking with their feet out. 
according to the Kabbalah. Again, this is not, um, I mean, uh, it wasn't tested yet by science, and I'm sure they'll come up with it soon, the how it's so healthy and beneficial, and how the soul leaves the body much better that way, when before goes to sleep, blah, 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 blah. Just like they found out that kosher food is, is much healthier, and blah, 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 blah. But for now, it's just, let's say, it's a Hasidic, uh, you know, thing, to have your head closer to the door, so you are closer to the mezuzah. And before you go to sleep, you should kiss the mezuzah on the door. That is a custom that the children do all the way up. Um, what else? Nagelwasser, which is also a Jewish thing. I guess we're going you know, Jewish now a little bit. Um, should be prepared before you go to sleep. And uh, there's three things you should do before you go to sleep. Machshava, thought, dibur, speech, and maise, action. Action. So, the thought that you should have before you go to sleep is something that you learned or something that you're going to learn before you go to sleep. If you have a small book next to your bed, something Jewish, something Hasidic, something Messianic, something Mashiach. Um, Jewish. The, Jew, the real Mashiach, the Jewish Mashiach. Rabbi Schneerson from Lubavitch, Shlita Melcha Mashiach. Um, then you should learn it before you go to sleep. And that should, you should think about that as you go to sleep. Your thoughts should be pure before you go to sleep. And there's, it's understandable. The second thing should be Kriyashmalamita. The speech that you will have before you go to sleep is thanking God for that wonderful day and fulfilling the commandment of praising God a day at night. So you do your Kriyashmalamita. And the action will be preparing the Nagalvasar. Again, this is Jewish stuff. So I'm not expecting uh, everyone to be like, oh, what are you mixing this? Okay, I'm sorry. You know, listen, I'm Jewish, all right? I talk to my bros, all right? If you don't like it, Okay, moving on to the back to the physical stuff. Okay, this thing that I'm wearing on my nose, you might be wondering, it's called Breathe Right. It actually um, uh, helps me go to sleep. I found out from some doctor, and since then I can't can't have a successful day without it. Literally, I don't know. Maybe it's psychological, but I doubt it because I'm a very. Uh, I mean, I am psychological, but I don't think they'll be able to pull this off on me. <laughs> So oh, easily. Yeah. So basically, this thing we put it on our nose like that, and it's like a hard piece of plastic, and it's like a band-aid, and it pulls the sides of the nose open, which allows air to go in and out. Besides that, also it's supposed to sleep straightish, not like all benched over. When you bench over, you, you can barely breathe properly. When you sleep straightish, then the air goes in and out, which makes the success rate of your sleeping much much higher. So this is what this thing is. Obviously, you should blow your nose. Even if you don't have this, you should blow your nose before you go to sleep. There's also these creams that have like this mint uh, kind of thing. I don't forget what they're called. The blame, whatever. Smear some under your nose or on your forehead. Um, it might help you go to sleep. Um, yeah. After watching this. You oh, one more thing. You should not eat a good few hours before you go to sleep. But how about... Yeah, if you're hungry and you're like really hungry and you get like, oh my God, so you could like eat an apple or something. It's not too heavy, it's not too hard to digest. Right, right. I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, you should try not to eat anything before you go to sleep a couple hours, you know, actually. Um, eat a good dinner and uh, a good supper and you're good to go. Um, again, make sure to sleep positively. Now, a lot of people write down things, what they should do, and, and the next day, and da, 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 da. Now, that's all good and fine, as long as you can actually keep up to it and, and, and keep it going for in the, in the long term. A very important thing I forgot to mention also is set the alarm clock. Oh, man. Set, set the alarm clock and make sure to go to sleep on time. That goes without saying. If you don't go to sleep on time, you have no, you have no, no chance of even... You know, but again, you need to go to sleep on time and have time to prepare to go to sleep on time. You need to unwind time, meaning if you need to go to sleep at 9.30, then you need an hour before to unwind. So you need to start your sleeping process at 8.30, meaning you should be home preparing to go to sleep at 8.30 already. Doesn't mean you have to actually like be like, going over to your bed but it means you should already start thinking about these things and you know trying to see finishing up what you gotta do and already be in a situation of unwinding and relaxing from that day it's also very important not to uh, despair um, if you need to finish shiurim as Lubavitcher Chassid if you need to finish stuff you should definitely finish them before you go to sleep um, again if there's stuff that are way too long you should 
do whatever you need you must do that day and the rest leave off for a different time and of course the main thing is as we said earlier that you should think positive when you go to sleep and the way you wake up positive and the alarm clock is very very important to have enough of them and keep them you know people know that you need to keep them a little far from your bed that we have to actually get up and go shut it off and don't just hit that snooze button right and Jewish people once they get up they have to say thanks to Hashem they put their hands together next to their heart and bend their head down and say so once you do that and then wash your hands and then go shut the alarm you're probably gonna stay up of course uh, today in our day and age we say Yechi before Maidani, which is Yechi which is a prayer for the Messiah, which is how, you know, right now, crowning the Rebbe King Meshach, Messiah, Meshach Shlita. Oh, all that, 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 that just reminded me, I don't know if you meant it or not, but you should definitely brush your teeth before you go to sleep. It's a very good idea. Even though, uh, you know, from a religious point of view, why would I want to brush my teeth before I go to sleep? And like, if I'm waking up in the morning, I need to praise the Lord so then I can brush my teeth in the morning. But why would I need to brush my teeth before I go to sleep? What am I going to sleep? I mean, Iluma, what's the... So first of all, you can brush your teeth before you say Kriyashma. Maybe <laughs> if you bring your... Yeah, like if you brush your teeth before you... Yeah. Or cavities, there's cavities. Of course, and also obviously the dentist will tell you that <laughs> it's more important to brush your teeth before you go to sleep than to wake up. Yeah, We're not going to get into such that. such a thing, or especially if you're eating a rotten apple, it's more than recommended they should brush your teeth. You know what? Definitely, mean? definitely. Now, brushing teeth also before you go to sleep would be helping you sleep, which obviously will be interpreted as helping you serve God the next day. So yeah, I guess you can tie it into the service of the Lord. And as he was saying, if you ate something before you go to sleep, you definitely do not want germs crawling around in your mouth and giving you a hard time when you're sleeping and you don't wake up refreshed at all. <laughs> it's, not, it's enough that during the night you already get this, uh, you know. Hopefully uh, you'll use your brains and uh, if you have any other ones, please write them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and say Yechi every day five times. We want Mashiach now. We want. Man, the boss, you see every. Hoping to see you in Jerusalem with the redemption by our King Righteous, the King Messiah. Thank you.